If it's steamy, yours is steamy. Okay, yours is steamy, but like, bitch, can you drink steamy. it? <laughs> but can you take it? Can, can you take, take the tea? Can you take the tea? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am joined by one of my best friends in the world, Freddy. Freddy Weddy is what I call him. <laughs> and hi. Hi. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Freddy is always giving me the tea on just like um, just everything, and we were just. It just comes out a lot, like red flags and dating. Mm -hmm. And and I was like, let's just film a video for YouTube because I've been wanting to talk about these two and just like pet peeves and stuff like that. I'm gonna do like a separate video for pet peeves. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to like they go separate hand it. Hand. They, but they do kind of go hand in hand. So we're just gonna like dive right into it. We got some uh, ideas from you guys on Instagram stories and also on Facebook Live, we got some. So we have a pretty good list. And then also we're just gonna like, you know, as the as it spells out, we're just gonna spill it out. So, <laughs> so yeah. Cheers to cheers. that. Cheers to. Cheers to what? Cheers to. Oh, well, we're not cheers into red flags. That's exactly. We're, not yeah, cheers like, to, we're, we're cheers into to. green flags, which I guess we can include. Yes. Because I mean, we need green flags. They are yeah, rare. Exactly. We see them, and we need more of them. <laughs> exactly. But we'll start with Where the red have? flags, and we can like, maybe do like a contrast of like. Green and red. Like, how can we fix okay. the red flag? Like, what is a yeah. like, what do we see as a green flag in comparison to the red? Flag? Okay, exactly. So, okay, we it. have lots of them. I did my research, and Ooh. I have lots of experience. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number one, and this is most important. Like, if this happens on a date, gaslighting. Yeah. Like, if somebody feels your feelings are invalid or tries to mansplain you, yeah. Or like that, yeah. I just I can't stand gaslighting. Number two, a red flag is a love bomb. This is when someone frequently attempts to influence another person with over-the-top display of attention and affection. Have you ever had that happen? Wait, when they what? They have an over-the-top display of attention and affection. So the love bomb is when someone oh, like, like so much. Yeah, who tries to like mirror you, learn everything about you, yeah, and yeah, like yeah. shoves love down your throat. Yeah, then, yeah. Then you fall in love with them, and then you then and they rip it back out. Well, <laughs> then they uh, sort of can manipulate you. Yeah, because like they know that you're in love with them now. Yeah. So oh, that's what was that called? A love bomb. Oh my god, that's yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah, and it's real. <laughs> but yeah. You learn. I think the thing with red flags is once you go through them, yeah. you learn about them, and you learn what to avoid. And we exactly. have to not be wearing those sunglasses that make everything look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No rose colored. No rose colored glasses here. <laughs> no. You know, in the beginning phases, we got those rose rose colored glasses. Yeah. And. <laughs> we want to be the best true. people. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It's easy to have that. Yes. Because you want. Like, that's my point. Yeah. It's like we want to believe that they're that's yeah. good. And, you know, because in our mind, you know, the first date is like, oh my god, you're excited, you're yeah. so happy. Exactly. And then you see these red flags, and you're like, you know, but maybe it'll get better. Yeah, exactly. And usually it doesn't. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you want to believe, and you know, and we shouldn't be like discredited for like wanting to stay positive about somebody, but. Um, that's, that's hard. Yeah. Sometimes not everyone's thinking the same as you are. Yeah. It's like we have kind hearts. Exactly. Some people like really are malicious. And also it's like it's past trauma. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people have like past trauma and totally. That's how some people have different love languages too. I think the right one really is good. Which blueberry? Yeah. Blueberry tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's really good. You guys I'll put the link below. Mm -hmm. Blueberry tea is bomb. <laughs> um, I'm like, oh, it just adds that like mm. little kick. Like blueberry scone. Yeah. That's why when I smelled it, it was like, mm. Mm. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, another red flag is one-sided effort when making dates. Oh god. So it's like if you're the one that's always like yeah. setting the plan. Like they're always never... making the plans. Yeah. You know how annoying that can be. And it's like yeah. if they, you see that, then it's like, okay, maybe I should stop making the plans. And yeah. then if they don't text you, then okay, well that red flag solved itself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, sure. Oh, and I guess the ways to make it better is well. 
Reach out. <laughs> Try and make a name. Reach out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reach out and text me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or just like when you're dating someone and you like say your boyfriend or girlfriend or them, yeah. however you would like to mm -hmm. identify. They, them. Yeah. So that's a good way. That is a green flag. Is you making a date as well. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No. Okay, so we are doing... <laughs> oh, shoot. What should this video be called? Red and green flags? Yes. We're gonna make sure that you leave this right. feeling better that dating can be good. And also... Are you a little you... cut off? No, I'm not. Um, and also, by yeah. everyone watching this, you can be a better dater. Because if you treat the other person better, they'll treat you better. And yeah. I think the golden rule is, treat others how you want to be treated. So if we're all good That daters, part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, some people want to be treated poorly, but maybe you find people that want to be treated poorly too. That's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <definitely. laughs> but like, some people like to be treated nicely. Yeah. Reciprocated. I should be, be treated poorly on the weekend. But in the bedroom. In the bedroom. <laughs> That's a good story. Treat me poorly. <laughs> All right. Okay, another red flag. Doesn't respond to text. I mean, yeah. Like, so there's, I mean, obviously we're all like busy. We're all doing things. We're all like, but like there's a certain amount of not responding that's like, you know. Well, and also like communicate. Hey, if you're in the office from 7 to 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it's gonna be hard to text, like let me know. Yeah. I think communication, it just goes back to communication. Cause yes, like, yes. cause yeah, maybe I'm on a five hour road trip and you know what I mean? I don't wanna drive, text while driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you never know. So like just communicate, you know? Yeah. So we all have different reasons why we don't text somebody back. But yeah, if you're going, days or even like a week like uh some people are really bad at texting like oh i've had i've had even just like friends that like they'll take like over a week and it's like okay yeah that drives me crazy i'm like you don't have to text within that minute especially when it's a text like that's pending like in like a response yeah you know i mean it's not just like like an engagement what are you doing good gorgeous <laughs> it's yeah. like hey where's the info on this or that you know what yeah. i mean or like are we gonna have that date still yeah, we still gonna get it in, bro. <laughs> Are we still going to the movies? Right? Like, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Communication is a green flag. There is a green flag for you guys. We got a green flag. Communication. A thing here. <laughs> but not too much communication, especially when you're first dating, because you don't want someone that's smothering you. Yeah. That's a red flag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's a fine line there's between. Texting too much, texting too little. Yeah. Because communication is at the core. Because if you know, yeah. let's say they have a job, okay, cool, you're a dog, you're great, save those lives. When you're off of work, <laughs> yeah. save their lives. It's 5.01 because you've been off for a whole minute. Like, I, better, I, I expect a heart of my message at least. Yes, I expect at least like uh, enough to need to scroll down. Yeah. yeah. Okay, another, I guess, so this goes back to it. Text short, Ooh, let me turn the air off, sorry. It's <laughs> it's really loud. Uh, Next what one. What snacks? <laughs> red flag. Also, if you guys have other red and green flags to add, please definitely be uh, putting them in the comments below because we are excited um, to see those. So we'll definitely be reading through those because um, I'm sure there's plenty more. So we got to help each other out. So I'm saying at the end right? of the video, we all come out stronger, better. Exactly. And more informed. And you know what, we gotta watch out for those red flags. Also, we have to watch out for narcissists. There's a lot of them, and sociopaths, and psychopaths. They're all real, Google each one. They are different types of people, and they do exist, and there's a lot of them. And the majority of them are like just super, super charming. Yes, and, like, that's cute. important. Yes, yes. So it's yes. scary, you guys. And yes. um, if you're dealing with this, like definitely like um, also put like a, a link to um, NAMI organization, I really love that organization. They really help out a lot. They have a ton of like mental health resources too. Um, I love them. And so, but also just like, yeah, let us know, reach out. Like if you're in that situation, like you need to like tell yourself that like you deserve um, better and Wait. you need to get out of that. I know yes. it's like not easy, um, but it's gonna be better in the end. Yeah. If you if you see all these red flags and there's not enough green flags, Gotta listen like, to that's when you know to leave the relationship. It's like you have yeah. to love yourself. Another red flag, doesn't respect your boundaries. And this is not only when it comes to sex, doesn't respect your boundaries if they're asking too many personal questions, your personal space, yeah. or doesn't respect your time. Yeah. Like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Are it's like, <laughs> like someone that just like, you know, if they show up three times late to a date, 
or like just three days late. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. That's that's a huge. Yeah, red, and like they're not red red. really like sorry. Like, yeah, they're just like, hey, mm, oh my god, there was traffic. I'm like, what? Yeah, there? exactly, was there? exactly. <laughs> like, I'm a very like I'm a I'm kind of obsessed with being prompted on time, but also I end up being late to things. Yeah. But I mean, like if I am, I like make sure that I like say something. Yes, for sure. Start. Like I. Like I always feel like shit if I'm really late, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I feel like some people just don't really care. I think that's like the difference. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know, for me it's really like, red flag is when someone just like shows up late or doesn't really value your time. Or like leaves, yeah. like again, like in the communication, when it leaves you on red, yeah. only until it's convenient for them to respond. I'm like, you weren't valuing my time yeah, exactly. for like what I could have been doing. Cause I could have had other plans, but you just kept me so low on like your list. Then you're like, oh. Yeah. Now I have time for you. My no bitch, my time. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Miss, miss your chance. Yeah, I was like, I got other things going on too. Yeah, exactly. That some people don't realize like you're so busy but like Yeah. It's like we're all busy. Yeah. yeah. We're all <laughs> trying to do things and pay this rent and all that. So Yeah. So yeah, I think like well and if you're if you are, that goes back to kinda of what I was saying to you the other day, like off camera was like I was like, Well if they are on these dating apps, like they should like well, first of all, make it clear because if you can, you can be on a dating app and be yes. wanting to hook up. But I mean, um, State especially that. like Tinder, though, like that to me is more like relationshipy yeah, vibes. Same. But like if you're there, like I've seen a few that are just on there for sex, and they make that That's pretty fine. clear. They make that pretty yeah. clear. And I'm like, okay, like I only saw a few. Yeah. Um, but so, but yeah, like this guy you were saying the other day, like yeah. that he met through there, and then just kind of like wasn't ready for the relationship, whatever. I was just like, well, like you're on there, so like make it clear. I think that's, it goes yes. back to communication. Yeah. Make it clear what you're looking for, and it's, uh, that's so frustrating to me. Yeah, and it is, so like it sets, yeah, with the lack of communication, and it leads people on to believe one thing, and then you're like, wait, but you didn't want that? It's like, I think, being very open with like communication. Yeah, exactly. And like what you want, so it's like if you're saying dates and friends, what kind of dates? Like are you dating for attention for yeah. a relationship? Or dates as you mean in hanging out? Because you want to have a friend with benefits, exactly. And that's fine, but maybe you're saying and like talk about that at the first day. You yes, mean like one. get the out like what the intentions are? Because I don't want to waste any more. Yeah, and then again, time. that's respect of time. Yeah, exactly. Back to respect, back to communication. Those are gonna be like the <laughs> the core themes pillars for the, the yeah. pillars for the video. Yeah. Oh my god, let's yeah. get some pillars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but really, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, if you go on your first date and like you know, okay, this person isn't looking for a relationship. He really is looking for a friend with benefits. Yeah. Dates. That's how he wants to date. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Because then, like, that's clear communication. Yeah. It's sometimes like, we want benefits, just benefits. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't need the whole friend part. I have lots of friends. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> I'll take we the benefits. Got, we got plethora. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm good right here. I got the plethora. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, man, I can cuddle at night with. Then I'm looking for one. That's different. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And like, I would like that man to want me back as well. Yes. Exactly. And that would be ideal. So that's a green flag. Yeah. And wanting you back. There you go, there's the green flag. <laughs> I like that you like finish with the green flag. Yeah, was, so there's the green flag. We're spinning in the pot. Oh, I should have bought red and green flag. That would have been fun, we could have like been waiting. I literally did just picture you guys like, <laughs> and, like, like it. and now there's a green flag. And here's a green flag. Okay, next red flag. Um, actually, I learned this when I was doing some research. Benching is when someone you've been dating stops agreeing to meet in person but continues to talk, contact you over message or social media. So there was one guy I was talking to for a while, but they bench you. Like they put you on the bench, like sort of like yeah. a baseball reference. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like... Well, like, I think any sport you can bench. Oh yeah, I guess. Um, or huge sports fan. Steve, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, rhinestone corset. So cute. I'll wear, I'm gonna wear that to the next baseball game. <laughs> the next one is bread crumbing, which is sort of a similar of the same. Because when they bench you, yeah. it's when they just message you. And one guy I was talking to, like, he would always hit me up, just to say hey, it was like every Monday, and like it was sort of like he was, it was a part of his job. Yeah. But he would just like message me. Every Monday at like, the same time. Yeah, not at the same time, but like every Monday. It was like, That's usually in the weird. evening, um, and he would just be like checking in, like, hey, how you been? Hey, how's it going? It's like he, he had you on like his boy calendar, yes. just checking you yes. off. Yes, yes, literally, to fill his ego. He was oh a narcissist. Oh my god. He is a narcissist, not was, is. <laughs> that is creepy. Yeah. So you were like, Hey again, on this Monday evening. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hi, I really don't care. Like, we're not seeing each other. It's been almost six months. Why are you still checking in? Yeah. <laughs> so what did you say? You were just like... 
No, I mean, I stopped responding, and then he kept on, and then we started to hang out, and now we're sort of friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, it went from us dating with, again, communication went from us dating yeah. with intention for boyfriend, then he benched me, and because he benched me, then we became friends. That was his communication, not uh, communicating. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. his actions do the job, but his actions were shitty. Because I was like, you're, yeah. you're not ghosting me, you're just benching me. Oh my god, I had never <laughs> even heard of that in like this manner. Yeah, but it's in, real. Like, this so, category. This is why I'm good for this. I'm here. It totally makes sense. This is why I was really excited <laughs> to bring Freddy on. I'm like, we just need to get the cameras rolling on you because I'm in the thick of so it. So much good stuff. I mean, good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't exactly. like them, but they're everywhere. I'm out here like dodging the red flags, mm. and they just keep on coming at me. I'm like, Bleh. and I and the thing is when I see green flags, <laughs> I'm like, Bleh. there's red flags. Yeah. Because like this guy, uh, the Tinder guy, like yeah. And the very first day, I that's why I was like so into him. Yeah. Because there was like I thought so many green flags. I was like we didn't on the first day. Yeah, we yeah. We like made out. Yeah. It was like very PG. Okay. We had a fun conversation, uh -huh. and I was like, oh green flags. Like and then you're like <laughs> and like I and then oh. yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you are a boy as well. I was like, damn, you covered those up really oh well. Oh my god, straight up. He's <laughs> like, now I'm seeing like the veil is coming down. I'm like, oh, I see. A I see you. Oh my god, he like bends over his like, red, red thumb. <laughs> oh my god, we should do like some like TikToks about that. <gasps> When you think he's a good boy. <laughs> Expect some red flag content coming. <laughs> oh my god, there'll be a whole like dedicated to like every red flag or something funny. Yeah, we can just do all sorts of little funny things when, and just little pops of red will just pop up somewhere or somebody, whether it's flag or whether it's like a thong or whether it's just like any sort of red. We're like, oh, I can think of a lot. Yeah. There we go. Send us all your red flags and we'll turn them into shit talks. Yeah. Like funny shit talks. That's yeah. Cool. Wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, leave everything below. We're gonna use the shit out of that. Yeah. So. God. It's real. We do not like breadcrumbing either. We don't want to be benched. We don't want to be breadcrumb. We deserve more. No, we don't want to benchy, breadcrumby <laughs> bench. <laughs> um, always on their phone when on the date. Yeah. This is a red flag that I saw um, from uh, the bencher, breadcrumber. And it's like it's something that like... Um, breadcrumby bencher? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he had a lot of unsaved numbers on his phone. Yeah. And I just like a lot of unsaved numbers being. Ooh, it's a good one! <laughs> a lot of. Un Why are you scrolling through his text? <laughs> He's like. That's a lot of unsaved numbers. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, that, it, that makes sense. Because I mean, I save like everybody's number. Yeah, let's yeah. Just, But when you're like hooking up, just or, you're, hook up, yeah. or it's just, you know, you have no real intention of really. Billy. Heart. <laughs> or you have me, and I categorize them I as. Billy Grinder Puerto Vallarta. Exactly. <laughs> and so by what app which I met them on. Which was, app. Yeah, exactly. Go there you go. It. Yeah. <laughs> butthole. Butthole. <laughs> butthole diameter. Yeah. Which one is tightest? Right. <laughs> like, hmm. I want like medium tight. <laughs> so, what's someone that was just used yesterday? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's definitely a thing. Um, this is a big yeah. red flag. Uh, they never feature you on their social, on their social accounts. Ooh. So if you're dating and let's say it's already been a month and they once haven't put you on like I mean okay maybe, yeah. maybe like three months because a month I can say that it's still iffy but like three months in I that's think, what like, Max and I did yeah it was three months yeah and that was like the create like the, one of the coolest things that was so attractive to me about Max was like he didn't even ask what mine was yeah until like three months I think and, and I think it was me bringing it up like do you like I don't know what I said but like one of the main reasons that like people like want to get in your life is, you know, take advantage of your following, whatever. And, um, so it was just like really refreshing. Uh, and I've definitely gotten taken advantage of by a lot of people, I'm sure you have, um, specifically because of the following. And um, I feel a bit scarred from it for sure. So that was like a major green flag for me. <laughs> I got a green flag. Look at that, we got a green flag. And so yeah, and that was exactly what you said, three months. And then we followed each other. And I was like, oh my god. He's like, well, he's like, I just wanted to know you. Yeah. So he's definitely learned a lot and uh, he's very, he's lots of wisdom. So I'm learning a lot from Max every day. So that was a cool green flag by him. Anyway, we love a green flag. You can tell they're keeping a secret. That's a red flag. Definitely. <laughs> that was <a> stupid face. <laughs> yeah. That was perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Friends don't get along with them. Red flag. Is yeah. That sus? You can tell that they're jealous. Major red flag. Definitely, yeah. You need someone that's jealous. You need someone that's confident. Exactly, and it's hard, like, 
sometimes you're gonna get jealous. Yeah, like that's like a thing that you're always gonna have it. Um, but there's a difference between like all the time. Like you need to know like, hey, if I'm with you, I'm with you. If you're with me, you're with me. Like you have to be confident. Let's like, like know that. Yeah, and you have to understand that. The, I think show it through your love language. It's like make sure that it's, you know communication. Exactly. And yeah. Um, lack of own independence and being too needy. Like if they cling yeah. on to you and they're oh, yeah. own friends. And like, oh, that's another effect. And not having enough friends. <laughs> <laughs> no friends. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> okay, uh, red flag. Um, they call all their exes crazy. And they're not friends with their ex. Mmm. The, oh, they call. That's a good one. Not, yeah. Oh, my ex was crazy. Yeah, I'm like, were they? Because I think they're a little crazy. Oh my god, you're the one that was crazy. That's a good one. Yeah. Because like also, like, why would you throw, throw your ex under the bus like that? Like, yeah. You know, like, if you cared for that person, like, once you... I don't know, for me, I think all my exes, except for that piece of shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes when people do things really wrong, that's... You know that some people are crazy. Yeah. But I would say, for the most part, <laughs> you know, when you break up, it's more about, like, things didn't work, or... But not for a bad reason, but it's like people grow. I think at a certain point, like I feel like this happened in my last, my two longest relationships is like we just grew apart. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you expose too much, like if you expose all your like, yeah. relationship trauma, like you know, you don't want to talk about, you know, everything your ex did. All your ex, <laughs> yeah, all the issues with, yeah. yeah. On the first day, you're not talking about like all the issues with your exes. Yeah, yeah. it's like, no, because then girl, you got some problems too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and we don't want to be talking about your ex on this date. Let's talk about you. Yeah, exactly. Like, we'll talk about them like day four, maybe. Like and like there. I get it, like it's like definitely, I mean obviously like we're nervous on the first day or second day and like But don't um, need a like, trauma dump, do not trauma dump But you try got... your best not to, yeah, definitely just try to share like positive things and don't talk too much about your ex Yeah, and that's something that's most important that friends have been telling me, talking like about these current guy, current guy dating Is like the first couple dates are where you're supposed to be putting your best foot forward Yeah And if they're not putting their best foot forward also, and you're ready to see all these red flags then Exactly. You have to reevaluate and then reassess, and that's when you maybe you stop talking to them. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, you need to listen to what's gonna be best for you. Yeah. Because you know I mean? if you already see all those red flags, then you know, that's why you tried, you got to know them. They were pretty, that was lovely. Maybe you got some good meals, had some fun times, but exactly. keep moving. Yeah. Um, when they adjust clothes in public, like if they're uncomfortable, like they're constantly like, fidgeting, like. Oh, I think they said when oh. they adjust your clothes. Oh, oh. oh. Girl, no, yeah, that? like yeah, uh, so, okay. yeah, like well, like I'll fix the tag for oh, sure. Yeah, for sure, yeah. But if you're like, oh, God, come on, like your boobs are sticking out, like, yeah, no. You know what I mean? Like you need to be like, like respectful like about it. But like if something's messed up, like fix me. Yeah. But not like I think Adjust I remember me. when they read that it was like more like yeah, like they're, Adjusting. you know, and like right when they're talking to somebody or something, I don't know, like. Be respectful and not when it's gonna be like an embarrassing moment. Mm -hmm. But like, make sure you fix something if something is wrong or inside out or like flop the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're constantly interrupting you. Oh my god, yeah. Definitely <laughs> like, I think just like, always reminding yourself to like, take a few breaths, let someone talk. I mean, I definitely am a talker, that's for sure. Um, probably interrupted you like, 80 times this video, but I mean, <laughs> trying to learn how to be like, trying to let other people talk. Especially when I get lit too, like when we be saying more stuff too, so maybe don't get super lit on the first day. That's a red flag. Um, <laughs> well, unless it's like fun part of it, like, like you're getting drinks and you're super lightweight and you're like, ah! Yeah. Uh, that's right, you're dumping yeah. your whole life on that. <laughs> and that's that's also a red flag for yourself. Know yeah. your limits and shit, because yeah. come on, I mean, I don't know, everybody of all ages are watching this, but I mean, like, you know. We're adults, right? So like, try to act your age and if you be. Drink, if you can legally drink, you're an adult, and you should. And no, alcohol. you should. Yeah, well, you should know if you can only have like one or two shots before you're like toast. Like, you should know that. Yes. So find your limits and be confident with them. Subscribe for more terrible advice. <laughs> <laughs> Red flag wants to know who you're talking to. Like if, mm. if you're on your phone. Oh yeah, like wants to know everybody that you're talking to. Like um, I think they were saying even just like. Friends, to be, oh, who's that? Yeah, who's yeah, that? yeah. Who's that? Yeah. You're like, mm, girl, look at them eyes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that don't be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just like that, and that goes back with like the jealousy thing yeah. too. Like, hey, they're dating you, they're talking to you, they're holding your hand or whatever they're doing right then. Like, know that they're with you. Like, 
we're all humans, we're all gonna get attention and I'll talk to other people as well and like we're also just like friendly people like so it is not always like I think a lot of these issues are like, you know, traits I guess or things that like are hard to like just turn off. But hopefully we're all learning something from this collectively, like um you know, because we all have different things we're working through and all, we're all going to work on them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's all we can do. That's all we can try is to be better self-conscious people that know ourselves better and try not to have reflex. Exactly. Um, if they're talking negatively about others and judging them. Like someone that's like, oh, oh like look at that outfit, it looks so bad. Or, oh, look at how overweight they are. Or, oh, oh like, right. I can't believe like, they brought their children with me. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it's within reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially you know, on the first few dates. Like, yeah, if you don't want to be like bad on people, it's not nice. It goes back to just like making it clear like who you are. And yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm a sassy <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Make it clear. Yeah. I'm a sassy <laughs> and all, all I want to do is <laughs> yeah. This is Zaggy. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I have a good one. If they're not down to FaceTime, if you haven't met, yeah. you know, in person. Yeah. If they're, not, if they're not down to FaceTime before meeting in person, you guys do not meet them! <laughs> that is scary. Yeah. These are facts. It is so easy to, like, uh, pretend to be somebody. Like, it's way too easy. Um, so, uh, always FaceTime. Yeah, when they're not down, I'm like... Yeah, if they don't have a job. <laughs> unless, they're they're rich. Rich. <laughs> oh, unless they're rich. <laughs> That's what I was, because I added that part in. <laughs> so. Money. Red flag if they're broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If they're like just playing video games and they're like broke, like. No. Yeah. But if they're, they're not even games, streaming. If yeah. they're like twitching it. And exactly, they're like, if they're not yeah. even streaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they're clingy. Yeah. No, that's too much. Yeah, because you want to be, you want to show affection, but not like. To the point where you're like, Ugh. yeah, yeah, too much, yeah. You gotta be able to read the room, and like, unfortunately, not everybody is really is is super aware of energy. You know, some people really aren't like able to like read the room or like feel the vibes, which is unfortunate. And I'm so sorry, um, but um, I like that's really weird. Keep uh, uh, like. uh, red flag, messy and can't cook. Ooh. I can't cook great, but I can. And if they're messy, that's a huge red flag. Yeah. Like, I'm a very clean person. Like, I've been in relationships where I overlooked the messy part, and in the end, all I did was resent that person for yeah. being messy. Yeah. And that was one of our biggest, like, we were focusing. I like to have things put back in a certain order. I don't think yeah. it's that difficult. Yeah. And, like, no. this person I was with, like, literally would just, like, put things on the wrong hanger, or face the hanger the wrong way, or just throw things oh, on the sofa. Oh, no. Yeah. And I know there's little things, but there's little things, like, he was so smart. I was like, why can't you do this properly? Yeah, it's like there he's wanting to just bug all those little things. Yeah. But, like, he, did, I mean, he was just also just messy. He would cook, and, like, he would always, like, yeah. give a mess everywhere. And, like, I, like, I would have to clean it. I'm like, bitch. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like, you know I'm going to do it. So, like, because like, if I don't do it, it'll just stay that way. Exactly. And I cannot live in a place that's, like, messy and, like, unorganized. No, yeah, definitely not. So, huge right? What's What's the last one? Yeah, the no. last one is drum roll. Opportunists. If they're trying to use you. In any way, that doesn't have to always be in career. It Major. could be for sex. It could be emotionally. It could be. That's a good one. But most like they're not always. But yeah, I mean, it just or they're trying to get to your friends or. I don't know. But yeah, an opportunist. Yeah, exactly. No, that's that's huge. That's huge. Someone that's not reciprocating. So an opportunist is someone that is trying to get advantage of you. Huge red flag. Major. So now you know. I think over twenty red flags. Oh my god. Yeah, whatever was not of the <laughs> camera stopped recording at some point, so there was some good stuff in there that you guys might have missed, but hopefully not too much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming to my channel with me, Betty. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. It's been so much fun. I feel like there's so after doing this one, I'm like, I feel like we have so much we could talk about, so we just need to do more of these. Um, and I really like the idea of uh, doing some fun TikToks about it. Like there, we could do we could do so much with it. So yes. we're really excited to hear everything that you guys, all your green and red flags you have down below, and also just like crazy relationship stories. Um, talk to us in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new and hit the um, thumbs up and the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I post. Every Tuesday um, might adjust that, but right now every Tuesday. Um, and yeah, I'll put Freddy's uh, Insta and other links uh, uh, down below. Make sure to give him a follow too. And you guys can follow my other channels um, down below as well. And I hope you guys are, have an amazing rest of your day wherever you are. And I love you so much. Cheers, y'all.